could run and look for shelter But you hold on to me I'm under your skies I'm caught in your eyes Don't you know you stopped the Standing where the lightning strikes I know this doesn't happen twice You must be my once in a lifetime In a lifetime You must be my once in a lifetime There's so much that I have told you but it's all in my head Ask me anything you want to Cause the answer is yes I'll spend my whole life Just being caught up in your eyes Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Wonderful! Is it? And on behalf of Stephanie and Rogelin, let me take this opportunity to thank you for being here with them this afternoon in sharing what is perhaps one of the most momentous occasion of their lives. <laughs> and it is my hope that you'll not only, you better shower them with your love, but most importantly, keep giving your prayers as well. And so once you're ready, we're gonna start the ceremony. Are we ready? Let's do this. Yes. <laughs> and so let this be your destiny, to love and to live, to begin each new day together and to share your lives forever. <laughs> For you shall love each other until the day you die. And I know this now that your love, it will never run dry. <laughs> and this is the moment where two lives have begun. There are two hearts that now beat as though they're one. And so I want you to be cognizant of the fact that a marriage ceremony, it represents one of life's greatest commitments. It is also a declaration of love. Because the first book of Corinthians, mm -hmm. in chapter 13, it tells me that love, it is being patient and kind. And it goes on to say that love is not jealous. It is not boast or even proud or rude. Love keeps no record <laughs> of wrong. It is not irritable. It does not demand its own way it's never glad about injustice, but it rejoices whenever the truth wins out. Love, it never loses faith. And it endures through every circumstance because love, it never ever fails. And so life on this earth is a beautiful thing when two persons come together and they share their lives as one. But life itself can be greater with more purpose and more meaning, more understanding. For as long as two persons, they can share that deep love for each other, then nothing in this world is too difficult to overcome. And as for that rough road, Steph, Rajalyn, let me tell you this. There may be some rough roads as in any marriage, but those rough roads will become smooth once you travel them side by side, hand in hand just as you're doing here this afternoon <laughs> and as you're going to continue to do in your years to come. Oh. My dearly beloved, we're gathered here today to take part in one of the most time-honored celebrations of the human family. We're going to unite a man and woman in marriage. And Stephanie and Rogelin have come to witness before us telling of their love for each other. And we remember that theirs is a love whose source is the affection of those who love them into being. But we're going to remind them that today they are performing an act of complete faith, each in the other. And that the heart of their marriage, it shall be the relationship that they create. For in a world where faith often falls short of expectation, it is tribute that these two will now join hands and heart in perfect faith. And so, 
I will ask this question of you, Rajan. In the presence of all here this afternoon, will you receive Stephanie as your wife? Yes. <laughs> I will. I will. <laughs> and will you pledge to her your love and your faith and your tenderness, cherishing her at all times with her husband's loyalty and devotion? I will. I will. <laughs> Stephanie, in the presence of all here this afternoon, I'll ask this question of you. Will you receive Rajalim as your husband? I will. Will you pledge to him your love and your faith and your tenderness, <laughs> cherishing him at all times with a wife's loyalty and devotion? I will. So understand <laughs> one thing. As of now, there is no longer a me in your lives. Me just walked out the door. But if I take the M from the me and I turn the M upside down, I end up with the word we from me. Okay. It's a we thing from now on. <laughs> Rajan, don't ever walk in front of her because she may not follow you. And don't walk behind of her because Stephanie may not lead. But instead you walk next to her. You continue to hold her hands. You continue to add flavor and excitement and put a little bit of humor into the relationship. You continue to be her lover and you continue to be her best friend. <laughs> Steph, let me tell you this. Don't forget to give him a nice little pet name. You know, my little Pookie or something. <laughs> give him that little special sweet name, okay? Got That's it. what makes the love grow and goes around. Do you know of any lawful impediment why you may not be joined in marriage? No. No. So, Rajalim, look at her. <laughs> You're going to say, I, Rajalim DeSantis. I, Rajalim DeSantis. Solemnly declare. Solemnly declare. That I know not. That I know not. Of any. Any. Lawful. Lawful. Impediment. Impediment. Why I may not. Why I may not. Be joined in marriage. Be joined in marriage. With Stephanie Gwen. With Stephanie Gwynn. <laughs> I, Stephanie Gwynn. I, Stephanie Gwynn. Solemnly declare. Solemnly declare. That I know not. That I know not. Of any lawful impediment. Of any lawful impediment. Why I may not be joined in marriage. Why I may not be joined in marriage. To Rajalim DeSantis. To Rajalim DeSantis. Okay. Mm -hmm. Roger. Can I take your book your yes, here as well? Thank you. Yeah, yeah. It was too late first, but I got, it's my turn, huh? Right. Stephanie, I come here freely and without any reservation to give myself to you, and so we may found we may join our life in mine. I turn to God to support me in my desire to be worthy husband of your love. I know, I, I know that <coughs> is, this is the God plans and he worked together, he, he worked to put us together for all the time. It's getting blurry. <laughs> mm -hmm. I love you, secure in my knowledge that you are, you are my best friend, you are my best match. And we will be my adoring wife. I love to share simple things in life with you, like walk on the beach and watch the sunset and drink wine like you did last night. <laughs> you have enlightened my life, you have enlightened my soul. Your beautiful smile makes me make my spirit strong and endure my life. You have inspired me for, for your kindness with all the animals and with all the people around us. Thank you so much. I truly appreciate the authentic, the, the authentic way you communicate with me. You make me feel special, you make me feel loved, and you make me feel worthy. <laughs> Even though when I make it difficult. <laughs> difficult. 
I love to hold you when you are sleeping and I love to hear your voice when you just woke up. I'm so blessed for having you in my life. You are so genuine, you are unique, and for sure, you are sexy and dynamic. <laughs> I ask you to grow old along with me, because the best yet is to come. I love you dearly. Roger. My favorite quote is, you're always one decision away from a completely different life. 313 weeks ago, I asked God to send me someone who was kind, caring, smart, funny, loving, protective, and handsome. Little did I know he would send me that and so much more. His answer came by way of an email that you almost didn't send because you thought I'd be too cocky to answer. And little did I know, a single decision to hit reply would lead me to standing here today with you getting ready to take a new name. The name of someone who grew up so differently than myself, halfway across the world, on a different continent and speaking a completely different language. When I first met you, it didn't take long for me to start saying, are you for real? A year later, I found myself repeating, I can't believe I'm in Texas. Not long ago, I became your fiance and not long from now, I'll be honored to be called your wife and lifelong partner. 2,191 days ago, I had no idea you would be able to fire me up and calm me down, drive me crazy and keep me sane. I cannot count the number of hugs that I never want to let go of. When I'm with you, I feel safe and protected and you took to the role immediately as the second time we met, I followed you to a foreign country I knew nothing about. There I found you were young at heart and had an adventurous spirit. Your smile was infectious. I love the way you appreciate nature from the dragonfly raising her tiny babies to the immense clouds that blanket the sky. 52,584 hours ago, you changed my life. You put the pieces of my broken heart back together and made me believe in love again. Every day you showed me unconditional love, frequently repeating that you love me more and blowing me silent kisses from across the room. I don't deserve you, but God somehow made the decision that I was deserving of you, and I'm so grateful that he did. He answered my prayers once, and I now pray he blesses us with a long, happy, healthy, and fulfilled life at each other's sides, chasing our dreams and supporting and encouraging each other. 3,155,040 minutes of laughing, crying, traveling, plotting, and playing have brought us to this moment. I promise to fill our remaining days, hours, and minutes with as much love, laughter, and happiness that I can. I promise to motivate you when you want to give up, and I will never take you for granted. Turns out answering one email was the best decision I ever made. The sexy accent was just a bonus. <laughs> A single decision has changed the entire course of our lives and every day. I will choose to love you more than I did the day before. I will choose to be a better wife than I was the day before. I promise to choose my words carefully and with love and always put you first. I promise to say I love you every day and kiss you each night as we put the day behind us. So I recently found a new favorite quote that I believe sums up loving another person so deeply even through the difficult times. If you want something to last forever, you treat it differently. You shield it and protect it. You never abuse it. You don't expose it to the elements. You don't make it common or ordinary. If it ever becomes tarnished, you lovingly polish it until it gleams like new. It becomes special because you have made it so, and it grows more beautiful and precious as time goes by. Oh, Chiamo. Chiamo. <laughs> Not yet. Can I have the rings at this time? Can you fix? And so I want you to just take a look at the rings for me. <clears throat> you see the circles on the rings? They're a symbol of marriage. But if you look at the circles, you're going to realize that there is no beginning and there's definitely no ending. And so shall your love be. Totally unending. These rings are made of precious metal. And it is to represent the wonderful nature of your relationship. And as often as you look upon these rings, be not only reminded of the vows that you've just exchanged, mm -hmm. but most importantly, be reminded of the love 
that you have pledged to each other forever. Mm -hmm. Rogelin, take her ring, put it on the fourth of her left mm -hmm. hand. Put it on. <laughs> Stephanie? Stephanie? I give you... I give you this ring. This ring as, as a symbol as a symbol of my love. Of my love. I was too focused on the ring. <laughs> That's okay. Put it on. You're gonna say, Rajalim. Rajalim. I give you this ring. I give you this ring as as a symbol of my love. A symbol of my love. It's wonderful. And so, for as much as Stephanie and Rajalim, who have come before me on this, the 30th day of May 2018, they have in my presence, and the presence of all here this afternoon, and on their own free will, they've exchanged their vows and have pledged their love to each other forever. And so, therefore, by virtue of the power entrusted in me, by the state of Antigua and Barbuda, I now pronounce you to be husband and wife. Rajalim, take your kiss. <laughs> May I be the first to congratulate? Congratulations. <laughs> I hope you. I made you as Thank comfortable you, as possible. Mm -hmm. And it is my hope that the vows you've exchanged will be an example to the institution of marriage. You could have gone to any country, we are happy you chose us here in Antigua, but more so here at Sandals for such a momentous occasion. Now we have to do one more thing right now. Mm -hmm. There's a famous reggae song that says, legalize it. <laughs> so that's what we're going to do. We're going to legalize the documents. Not that other thing. I want to step back, take a moment, take a deep breath I want to take this in oh, Right now, I want to slow it down Stop the world from turning round So this moment never ends If my eyes could stop the time I'd take a picture in my mind And never let this feeling pass if my dreams could come to life and all my wishes realize, I would find a way to make this moment last. Right here, right now, it's all I ever want. All my yesterdays and my tomorrows are right here, right now. It's what I waited for. Now I Out, try to hold back the hands of time If only just for a while Oh, if I could I would bring down All the stars up in the sky To shine on this moment in time 